talk about Arkansas and we're trying to sell our state to prospects and to industrial, industrial prospects all over the country and all over the world, our waterways are a, a key essential to that selling point. We want to make sure that we, uh, our, the companies know that we have navigable waterways in Arkansas. What a great asset that we have. We can say where our entire eastern border is the Mississippi River. We have a, uh, the Arkansas River that cuts through the entire length of our state, takes you all the way back into the state of Oklahoma. So uh, from the farthest west points in our state, in Fort Smith, uh, you can load up on a barge and get down to the Mississippi River, eventually get all the way down to the port of New Orleans. So it really is, it's a selling point for us to have these navigable waterways. Uh, and it's really an asset for Arkansas. It would save our state a lot of money on our highways if we could get more of those big trucks off the road and put those things on barges and get them on our river and off our highways. The Little Rock Port Authority was created in 1959 to basically open Little Rock to the global markets via the Arkansas River. Uh, if you jump forward 50 years, uh, today we are a major economic hub for central Arkansas. 4,000 people come here every day to make a living. There are 40 businesses here at the Little Rock Port that ship their goods and products all over the world. None of that would be possible without the Arkansas River. We work very closely with Brian and the team at the Little Rock Port, not only from a marketing perspective, but also with our existing industry expansion projects. You know, having that asset, not only that services obviously Little Rock, but the entire region as a place to locate major industry, all needing both rail, water, and transportation that work through the interstate highway system. And having the confluence of all of that at the Little Rock port makes it a perfect site for a lot of projects. Just anything that you need to ship large quantities of is going to be shipped on the, on the Arkansas River system. Uh, countries that, that we deal with, you know, the grain products are exported to mainly Asia, uh, China, Japan, and, and then the, the smaller countries. But there's also a lot of grain and grain byproducts that will get shipped to Europe, uh, to Mexico, to Central America. Well, we have one of our industries gets a lot of things from Africa, the vermiculi that they get there. So it is very international when you have the river access to do your transportation. One that in particular that comes to mind when you look at companies that we've brought in uh, is a Chinese company called Sun Paper. Uh, Sun Paper is in the biomass industry, so they're in the process of building a $1.3 billion uh, mill in Arkadelphia. Uh, they plan on using the port of Little Rock uh, to be able to, uh, to ship out some, uh, some product and uh, even bring in some of their equipment as they're building uh, their facilities. Countries that a lot of our fertilizer products come from would include Israel, Russia, um, various countries throughout the Middle East, some in Mexico. Some of the products are produced uh, domestically that will get shipped from other areas in the country. Um, there's, there's quite a bit produced in, in Canada. And not as much anymore, but there used to be a lot of fertilizer products come in from China. So it's, that's a truly uh, global industry that, that has a big impact on what we do in this region. We do have manufacturers who are now engaged in utilizing the port. You look at the steel industry that we have up in northeast Arkansas that uh, utilizes the river uh, access uh, every single day. And then if you just look at simply the businesses that we do have out of the port already, a lot of these are companies that we've recruited or we've helped to expand here in the state. So, uh, but for the, the port, but for those rivers, uh, they probably wouldn't have looked at Arkansas, but that got us in the game. You know, sometimes we forget that this is a, a pretty small world. And when in India, for example, working the Wellspun project, when we were showing them the logistical advantages of being able to bring raw material in by barge, obviously have something created at the port through their manufacturing facility and then transported out by rail, we pretty much hit all of the buttons when it came to the things that they needed to be competitive in this part of the world. Not this part of the country, this part of the world. And that's why the Little Rock Port is so important, not only to what we've already done from an economic development standpoint, but for our future. We have to continue to grow it because in growing it, we're going to grow new jobs, grow wonderful types of jobs that, that people enjoy working at, and also provide a phenomenal quality of life for their family. So the other thing that's a benefit for our state 
is the business tax that you would get from these industries using the navigational system. And we have a very strong core of engineers that make sure it stays open and that it stays secure and repaired, but it takes a lot of money and some of it needs some repair. It's been 50 years or more and we don't do that to our highways. Why should we do that to our rivers?